Hey guys, it's Cooley Smiley. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like Halloween stuff or video games. Horror video games, cute faces that know how to make you laugh. <laughs> You're in the right place. I'm waiting for you to also hit the bell button so you can get notified when I post new videos. Anyways, I got a new package. This package is from a little store that I've never shopped at before. I have been following quite a few content creators on TikTok and Instagram who like horror and who like Halloween and who dress as if it's the spooky season year round. And I've always wanted to do that. I've always wanted to be more like that and have the confidence to do that because it's my shit. It's my favorite thing. Look, 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 I just got my nails done. I'm a little ghosty ghost. And here's the thing, here's the thing. I feel the most me from September to October. Every year, I feel the most me. So why not lean into it more? This store that I'm about to do a haul from is called Killstar. This store has spooky things year round. I wanted to spend about 500 to like a thousand dollars at this store, but I stopped myself at my lucky number 300, just like I did for Spirit Halloween. I stopped myself because I knew, I knew that I could end up spending my whole Twitch paycheck there, but I'm trying so hard to be good. It's not sponsored, by the way, but let's, let's see. I've never shopped at Killstar before, so I want to experience opening up these things with you guys candidly together. Ooh, wowee, it's filled to the brim. It's filled to the hecking brim. Okay, let me set it down. Oh my God, I'm already really excited about the first thing I see. I actually brought this thing up in my Halloween hunting vlog with Kat because I saw a bunch of really cute welcome mats at the stores that we went to, but I knew that I had already ordered this one online. First little reveal of the haul. Ooh, it feels like such good quality. Although I don't know if this is the kind of quality of welcome mat that I'd want sitting outside. I don't know, we'll find out. Oh, it's so nice, hold on. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, it's so thick. Oh, it's, uh, I'm already impressed with the quality, okay. Oh, love, 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 love. Look at that. Look at that. It's like rolled up so you can't see the full design, but the ends, it's a bat. Like it's in the shape of a bat. It says welcome in the shape of a bat. I'm trying to show you, it's kind of hard. There you go, look at the bottom. It's like a bat wing. Oh my God, I love it. I was expecting it to have more of like the material that goes on a welcome mat that's like rough so that it can be for outdoors and so you can like rub your shoes on them. But like, that's okay. Maybe this can go on the inside of my front door. I fucking love it. I fucking love it. I have a good feeling about this haul, y'all. All right, next item on the list. I figured this was something I could use while I'm streaming. Look at Ooh wee, evil drink. It has poison in it, y'all. I love this. It's like so, it's so devil. It's so dangerous and cute, but it looks like a little milk carton. This is perfect for, ooh, it has a straw. <gasps> it has a straw. I didn't think it was gonna have a straw. <gasps> oh, I love it. This gives me, what is that movie? It's one of the VHS movies. I think there's three v VHS films and one of them, they're all just like anthologies, like a bunch of different separate stories. And one of them has like a, a demon at the end of it without spoiling anything. But it reminds me of that. So when I saw that, I was like, yes, this is like my strawberry milk purse that I have, but for when I'm feeling spooky. So this is what I'm going to drink out of when I play spooky games on stream. Oh, I'm so excited. Best served before sunrise. Satan's favorite, 100% natural. Stay hydrated, witch. Oh, I love it. I really don't remember everything I bought from this store. I actually bought all of this stuff before I went to Spirit Halloween. I've had the box sitting in my entranceway for a while, but I didn't want to open it because I wanted to do strictly Halloween stuff right at the beginning of my Halloween content. Because this haul can be watched year round, really. 
but I didn't want to open it without experiencing it with you guys as I opened it since this is my first time buying stuff from here and I am thoroughly impressed. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so this is a little skirt with, oh yes, it's stretchy, thank goodness. So I've gained a little bit of weight in quarantine, super normal, super natural. I don't hate on myself for it, but it does mean that I have to order all new sizes than I'm used to. So I'm not really used to ordering larges and skirts. So I really hope this fits. I might try this on in a minute, but like, look at the cute little, little hooks. I love when clothes have this like hardware on it. I think it gives such a, like a, not necessarily BDSM vibe, but like a don't fuck with me vibe. Because yes, I'm all peaches and cream personality wise, but I want scary, strange cis men to think that I could hurt them so that they don't try to hurt me. I think that's reasonable. I think I think that's reasonable. Also, I just don't love when strangers in general talk to me, no matter who they are. So this has some back off vibes. Oh, I'm so excited. I think it's supposed to be high-waisted too. And you can literally, to add a little pizzazz, you can make the skirt flare out by unzipping the sides which I will be doing for shizzle. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my God, I can't wait to try this on. If you guys want me to do a try on haul of these things, of all of the things I've bought for Halloween, let me know in the comment section below. Okay, and maybe I will. So I have a pair of soft, lacy feeling black flare pants that are like this fabric. And when I saw that they had basically the same design, but ruched at the bottom like skinny jeans, I had to get them. So this is the fabric close up. Got like little moths and stuff on it, super cute. And then the bottom of the pants, is ruchy. It looks kind of weird when it's not on someone, but like I'll simulate it on my arm. I think it's gonna make it look a lot more luxurious. Oh, I'm so excited to have different pants options this year because my whole life, I have really, really tried to impress the male gaze because I thought that's what I was supposed to do, you know? And through quarantine, I've learned that I prefer dressing to the female gaze. If you don't know what that means, look it up because I don't feel like explaining it to you. But I always wore regular dark skinny jeans everywhere, every time of year. And now I'm like, I can wear felt lacy fake skinny jeans whenever the fuck I please. Cause that's my choice. I can do that and I will. I hope you guys like these hauls cause I like filming them. Ooh, I might not show this. This is for me. Yeah, this is for me. We're not gonna show this. I'll show you, Caesar. Actually, this looks interesting. Oh, cause these are for the legs. <laughs> I was like, is it a swing? I don't, um, it goes like that. Don't let the viewers see, Caesar. Don't let them see. Spicy, spicy, just for me. This is probably the top that goes with that. Did you know that when you search Cooley Smiley on Google, the first option that comes with it is OnlyFans? Question mark? I do not have an OnlyFans. I have a lot of friends who have OnlyFans though. Hit them up. Look it. Ooh, okay. So this is definitely, I think, supposed to be lingerie, but I bought this as a shirt, like as a bodysuit. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, the quality is amazing. It kind of feels like it could be a swimsuit. Not gonna lie, it could be a swimsuit, the way it feels. But like, oh my God, the quality. The real question is, will my tetes fit in these cups? I don't know if my tetes will fit in these cups. I'm gonna have to do a try on haul, I think. But like, look at that. Look at that. And it's a bodysuit, so it will always be tucked in. And I do like the sides, like this is cool. This is neat. It cuts out on the sides. Very cute and comfy. I think this will be really stretchy and comfortable. The quality of these pieces, really impressive. 
I will say, like, these weren't cheap, so I'm glad that these are as impressive as they are. Here is the thing I'm most excited about probably in this whole haul. My little handbag with the ghosts is so cute. It's great for a night on the town. It's great for a lot of things, but it's not great for shopping. When I have a lot of things I'm carrying, like keys, my phone, my pepper spray, my vlog camera, they didn't fit in that tiny little bag and I was juggling a lot of things. So I wanted to get something bigger that I can use when I'm Halloween shopping. So I saw this and it gave me, it gave me Beetlejuice vibes and that, that makes me super happy. So let's see. Oh, I can already tell the quality of this is so good. It's so good. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh, ah, oh, yes. Oh, oh my, I never ever thought in a million years I could fall in love with a bag, with a handbag. So many things could fit in this. I could carry my devil juice in my purse if I wanted to. I, I could do, I, are you kidding? This would fit in this. And so would probably everything from this haul. I gotta look at the inside. So this has short straps so I can carry it like, like this. If I wanted to, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I could also carry it like this. Look at that, like, like that. I feel like goth witch Karen with this bag. Don't talk to me or my Beetlejuice ever again. Where is my other cell phone? I must call the presses to tell them that I must speak to the manager, who me? Just the devil's girlfriend going for a night on the town. <laughs> okay, but in all realness, this might be my favorite purse that I've ever owned, ever. Like I've never really bought a purse for me. All of the purses I've bought have been like dinky small purses that are like, I don't know, just easy to have around. All of my cute purses I've actually, that I like have been carrying around the past year have been bought by you guys on my wish list. So I finally wanted to buy something that wasn't cheap because I never buy handbags, I never buy bags or purses because they aren't cheap, they're expensive. But I, I knew when I saw this, I fell in love, I knew I had to do it. I had to do it. I love, 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 love the Killstar label on it. <gasps> I just saw the back. Look at this. It's a bat, dude! Oh my god. I love it. It's got one of my favorite animals on it. Are bats technically animals? Caesar, do you know? This thing is packaged in here hardcore. So if I remember correctly, that's because it's fragile. Yo, I'm gonna say it. I hate styrofoam. There's no reason that we keep making it. It's terrible for the environment. It's almost impossible to recycle and it takes, fact check me on this Caesar. I believe it takes like 30 to 80 years to decompose. And the only reason that companies use it is because it's cheap. There's just so many ways that we kill the earth and it makes me so upset. Look how much styrofoam is in here. That is so wasteful. I really want to do more to cut back on styrofoam waste. And I don't know how, if you have any references or info on it in the comment section below, please let me know because hate it. But I love this, hello? Okay, this is beautiful. This is truly gorgeous. I am putting together an area in my bedroom where I'm going to put all of my jewelry and I wanted to get a little mirror that was like unique. And I saw this and instantly fell in love. I don't love that the back of this is felt because I have a dog that sheds. So that's gonna get covered in dog hair. But other than that, this piece is truly so beautiful. Oh, can you see? I have a pride flag over, over there that you guys like never get to see. I love it so much. I love the, the rim on here too. Oh, how pretty. Beautiful witchy vibes, I adore it. Okay, we have one more thing 
Another thing, I said, you know, I never buy myself purses because they're so expensive. I never buy myself shoes either. The only pair of shoes I've really ever splurged on were my Doc Martens, and they've been the shoes I've worn almost every single day of my life since I got them. Years ago, I used to wear a pair of combat boots all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time, and they broke. And when they broke, I was heartbroken, and I could never find a pair that, like, felt like a good replacement. So when I saw these, I was like, I just got to try them. I just gotta take the leap, and if I hate them, I can return them, you know? So, <sighs> blind reaction, big reveal. Let's see how this goes, fam. Beautiful packaging. Matte black, we love to see it. Oh my God. Oh, they look so big, I really hope they fit. Oh, oh my goodness, golly gosh, oh. Hello? Oh my God, oh my God, oh. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, I feel so me again. I feel like me again. I have felt so lost without a combat boot in my wardrobe. I'm so excited. I've never felt this way about a shoe, at least not in a long time. I'm gonna stay single for the rest of my life because I'm involved with this shoe. Oh, they're so easy to walk in! Yep, new favorite shoes. This haul was a success, what do you think? <laughs> Not sponsored, but Killstar, if you ever wanna sponsor me, let me know, hit me up. This was so fun, I love this store. I hope you guys had a wonderful time watching me unbox these beautiful things. I am so excited to just feel even more me as the days move on. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, if you do like my videos, please leave likes, please leave comments. It's free and it's the best way that you can help your favorite content creators. Seriously, you have no idea how much that stuff means to me. I love making this content for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy watching it as much as I like making it. I will see you guys very, very soon on the YouTubes. Later. Let's get spooky together, friends. <laughs>